Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Josh SDH and today we're going to show you how to install the add-ons we're going to be using for our world edit tutorials. So if you want to follow along, uh, the ne those tutorials will be coming next, I want to show you how to install everything first. First things first, you're going to need a fresh copy of Minecraft. Now the reason I say a fresh copy is this is the safest way to make sure the no previous add-ons or anything you're doing are, are messing anything up. Uh, and the easiest way to get to that folder, uh, well there's a couple of ways but we're going to go the way that I, I do it most often. And that's in Windows 7. If you go right here and click your little Windows button, and down here in your search bar, you type in percent app data, A P P T A D A T A, and then close percent. So percent app data. And you hit enter, and you'll get this file that'll pop up. It'll be your username, uh, app data, you know, you just see all that, and then uh, roaming. And what you want is dot Minecraft. Now, the first thing you want to do if you're going to do this is copy and paste uh, your save files. And I save them right to the desktop, and I've already done that. So once you do that, what you're actually going to do is go back a file, so you're in this app data roaming, and you have your .minecraft folder, and you're going to delete the whole folder. Say goodbye. Boom. It's gone. Okay, so that's going to erase everything. So again, make sure you save first. It's very important. So once that's done, I'm going to launch Minecraft. And I'm going to have to type in my username and my password. Let me do that real quick. Uh, I just remember the password. I'm going to get it right. Let's see. Okay. And it's going to re-download Minecraft for you. So it's downloading. Uh, it's, it's getting all the jars, all the packages, and putting them all in a place uh, back in that app data folder, getting ready for you to run for your first time. And so we're going to let that happen and let it keep working. And once it's done, you'll get the nice Mojang logo. You'll see we have Minecraft 1.7.3 ready to go, and if we want to do a single player game, you'll see we'd have to create a brand new one. So that's the first step. Close that out. Step two, go back to that folder. All right, we're gonna go back in the Minecraft and see there's a bunch of stuff here. I'm gonna restore my saves. So I just delete the one that it generated, I'm gonna drop this right back in. Boom, so now my saves are back. Um, I also saved my options because I uh, generate, uh, I change all my key bindings. So if you wanted to save that as well, you could save your options.txt, otherwise you can reset it. But I'm just going to do that, and there we go. So now we should have, and we can open it again to check, we should now have, oops, that's the server, we should have Minecraft ready to go. And let's see, so my username saved, my password saved, logo, single player, here's all my games. Nether Terminal is the one we've been using. Oh, and I just fell and died because apparently I was flying at the time when I logged out. Something good to remember. All my key bindings, and here we are. So, good. This worked well. And it should have all your settings, you know, for your video settings and whatnot. Let's see. Yeah, looks like we're good. Okay. And we can exit again. So now I'm going to exit the game, and now we're actually going to put in our mods. So there's four mods that I'm using right now uh, to do all of this. And it's really up to you if you want to get them all. Uh, you'll need three of them if you want to follow the tutorial. One of them is optional. And the first one you're going to need is called Mod Loader. And you'll see I have all of the zips here. If you look in the description below this video, you'll see links to them. One caveat. This is the most current version as of today, which is the, what, the 16th of August, 2011. So these could change. And so while these links are there for you, you're going to want to always grab the most current ones. But the first one we're going to install is Mod Loader. And when we do mods, uh, you're going to need a program like 7-Zip, which is free for Windows users. And for Mac users, there's a great tutorial on the Minecraft wiki how to do all this as well. But what you need to do is open up this bin folder in your .minecraft folder. And in here, you will see minecraft.jar. And that's really all of the magic, or the most of the magic, for Minecraft. And you're going to want to open that with 7-Zip. So I'm going to open the archive. Now, there's a couple of things we need to do. So you'll see when you open the archive, this is right here. It's Minecraft. Yay! And the code is obfuscated so that, you know, they have all the code named random things to kind of block you from knowing what it is, even though lots of folks know exactly what it is. And so what you're going to do is you're going to actually just open up Mod Loader. You can double click on that. And you're going to copy and paste these class files right into this jar file. And so let's see. We're just going to grab them all. I just drag them in. And I'll say, are you sure you want to copy? And I say, yes. Hooray. Now, mod loader is installed. In and of itself, that doesn't really do anything. So the next thing we need to do, move out of the way, is we're going to add world, where is it? We're going to add single player commands. So with single player commands, we're going to open this again. 
And this one's going to be slightly different because you'll notice down here there is one different file that's not a class file. So what we want is all of them except that jar file there. And we drag them in. And now they're all in. And we want to remember that jar file because we're going to need that in a second. Actually, we can take care of that now. So now that all the uh, single player commands have dropped in, we do need to put the world edit jar in the same file as with the Minecraft jar. So Minecraft and then the bin folder. And you can just drag that right out and right into that folder. And there you go. So now single player commands is installed. So those are the two you'll need to install if you want to actually go ahead and use world edit. The one I like to add, uh, and I'll be using, you'll see it in the examples, is this one here. It's the world edit CUI. It allows you to see what you've selected with world edit and makes it so much easier to build. And like the others, you just grab all of the class folders and drag them into this. And you hit yes. There you go. And that's the minimum. That would catch you up with almost everything you're going to see in this tutorial. The one other mod that I do like to use, and it's quite nice because it works on uh, most multiplayer servers, although you're going to want to check if the server you're playing on, make sure there's no rules against it, is too many items. And this is an item spawner for you. And like all the others, you're just going to grab all of the class files and drop them into the jar file for the Minecraft jar. And there you go. So the Minecraft jar now has all of those extra files. And you can close the other ones. So the last thing you need to make sure you do, and it's easy to forget, is delete this meta.inf folder. And so you can delete the whole thing right out. Deleted. And now you should be able to close Minecraft jar. Now if we did everything right and we didn't mess anything up, we should be able to start a Minecraft, hit login, and we should get a wonderful logo. All right, and we got in. Now we'll open up single player and we'll open up our world and we'll see. And you'll see right there in the bottom of the screen, single player commands uh, 2.10-1 is loaded. And actually right now I still have fly on, so you can see I'm flying. Hooray! Um, so that's nice. Uh, you can turn fly on and off, and I'll show you all these commands later. Uh, and then just test world edit really quickly. If you type hit T to open up your talk window, if you type slash slash wand, Oops, if I could spell wand, uh, you'll get that wooden axe. And if you left click on a block and then right click on another block, you'll see these outlines appear. And if you see all of this, that means everything is in, should hopefully be working, and you should be good to go. So that's how you install World Edit, the World Edit CUI, as well as too many items. Now let me show you that real quick. So when I hit I, uh, well sorry, for me it's I, for the default of the game, I think it's E. Um, you'll see we have a couple of things. What you'll see initially is this. But this add-on adds these wonderful pages right here. And so it lets me just click on that item to add it to my inventory. Actually, I add it. if I left click, it's a whole stack. If I right click, it's an individual. And so it makes it really nice when you're trying to do some creative building to get through things quickly. You can also save states. So right now, this is we'll call this my pumpkin state. So I save that. Now if I got rid of these pumpkins, but I really want them back, I can just hit load, and my inventory, whatever it was, will come right back. So fantastic. But really, I don't want to leave all those pumpkins lying out there. That's a little goofy. Uh, the nice thing also is it has this nice trash option right here. Um, so instead of dropping them all over your world, you can just drop them into the trash and it deletes them out right for you. Well, there you go. So that's how you install everything. Uh, in the next few days here, what we'll do is we'll get started with actually how to use World Edit. And I'm going to start with a brand new world, not this one. And we'll do some uh, editing. We'll do a little bit of terraforming to give us some space to work on. And then we'll start by making a simple house. And there you go. So thanks. Leave some comments. If there's anything specific you want to see, let me know. And we'll be back again. Have a good one.